Hey guys, I have uh, been looking and trying and to figure out what I'm gonna do for this utility box. I uh, wanted to do it out of wood because I figured I could gather the wood a lot cheaper than uh, going out and buying a bunch of material. But I actually was over helping a buddy the other day and he just bought a golf cart and he bought it and it had a utility box on it. He didn't like the utility box, so he gave it to me. And, well, it wasn't in the greatest shape, but for the price, I'm gonna make it work. So, <clears throat> trying to do this one-handed. You can see I've been messing around with it, but it was like three foot long and I didn't like that. So I cut a foot off of it. And uh, yeah, I did a little bit of fix work on it. I'm not set up to weld aluminum in my garage, so I just riveted it. Like I said, this thing's just gonna be bombing around on the property as a utility cart now, and <clears throat> it should hold. They were good rivets, so braced up the corners. And then back here, for some reason, whoever built this box originally, they used uh, steel on the sides. So that's a little more weight than what I wanted. I wish I had aluminum to use there, but I'm using what I got. So I've been contemplating on what I wanna do here. If I want to leave it like that or cut it here so I can get a couple rivets you know down here because the uh, framework rounds right here so I want to be able to tie the sides into the back here so I think what I'm gonna do is cut it off here I should be able to get two rivets into the aluminum framework here and then cut that extra off and then I want to take that piece that I cut off and I'm gonna do something like that and just make a nice little utility box so what I'm gonna do <clears throat> save you guys the noise is I'm going to uh, cut that steel off right where them lines are <clears throat> and uh, pop some rivets in it. And I'm gonna set it back on the golf cart and uh, show you guys what I got. All right. So guys, I got a little carried away and uh, got in the rhythm and forgot to take another video, but <clears throat> I uh, got the back cut. I got two more attachment points <clears throat> that need to be finished. But other than that, it is bolted down. Fuel over. And get to the seat release and uh, get to the fuel cap and, uh, get the shot back and uh, back this thing out get it ready for uh, paint I put a little uh, body caulk right here just so you know mud and water didn't fall in there and um, if we brush against it we don't cut ourselves maybe hopefully See, I got this all done up over here. <clears throat> this is choke. Um, I had it similar to this, but hooked into the plastic before. Um, 
back uh, a couple inches or so. But uh, now it's right there. I uh, <laughs> kind of have to get a different bolt. This is all I had that was long enough. Uh, the local hardware is shut down, or not, not shut down. The local hardware is closed today because it's uh, Sunday afternoon. But that runs down and through into the main body. So my problem I was having before with this is when I'd pull on it, of course, the plastic was, you know, flexing real bad. Well, now it doesn't. It's solid. Uh, another issue we were having is the uh, mud was coming up through the, uh, the fuel door. So I uh, just threw some body caulk here just to kind of hopefully... Uh, keep it from uh, spraying mud all over the passenger. I put a uh, another mount here for this cover. Uh, sprayed some uh, rust inhibitor on the uh, rusty steel there, and kind of painted the box all black. I will. Uh, Get you guys an update on that in the next video I'm going to uh, take a break today and uh, the next thing I do I'm gonna get the choke fixed so that works and hopefully be able to take it for a test drive because right now it's not running but the rear body and the bed were taking up room so i figured i'd uh take a break from working on the motor and get that on so it's out of the way so thanks for watching guys so guys this is what i've got going right here i'm messing with the the choke okay so before I made this bracket not pretty but it worked about a year and a half two years it worked so with that I had this washer that I cut a slit in and bent up and then I use this bolt with that corner cut off And sorry, it welded a nut on the bottom, and then I just tightened it down. And then what I did to my choke lever was I drilled a hole in it, and I this is the stock cable. I think it was off of this. It might have been off of an old four-wheeler. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was this. So, I just, you know. And then I ran it. This would bolt to the car, or to the outside of the air intake that I made, right to the side of the carburetor. And then I just kicked it up like that. That's why I bent that there. And it uh, it worked great. But I'm having a lot of issues with air filters. So that's one of the reasons I jacked this up and more. And... Uh, I'm going to put an, a slip-on air filter like this. This one's off my mini bike. I need to put a new pre-wrap on it, but um, I'm going to order one that's a little bit either. I'm going to try to find something either a little bit shorter or something, and then I'm going to build like a mud flap from here to, you know, here or something to keep the mud from the tire throwing up on there and uh, hopefully that works because then uh, I can just move the mud flap out of the way 
and just pull the air filter off. The other air filters I re was using, I can't find them anymore. And the two that I have are destroyed. You can't clean them anymore. They're absolutely destroyed. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see that. That was the uh, <laughs> some of the remnants from the previous owner trying to fix the frame. I uh, probably should have cleaned it up better, but I didn't. So it's fine. It won't go anywhere. So I'm going to make a new bracket. So I've got some of this. I've got a, a piece coming off the side of the motor. And I've got another piece that I'm going to weld to it. Just got it clamped right now. Just trying to do fitment and uh, come up. And I'm going to do something. Something I, I haven't decided fully. Something from here to here. Um, and then this is my uh, hold down for my choke. And I'm going to run a cross brace over to that so that you know when i pull the choke it doesn't you know do something like that so as you can see i'm doing this by myself today so let me uh get some things moved around and clamp together and we'll go from there This is what I've got so far. I'm going to uh, throw a tack or two on it, this brace, and uh, see if it holds. I don't know if I can uh, So there's a baby tack on there now. Let's see what else I can do and I'll bring you guys back in a second.